Hey, what's up, you guys? How's it going? Did you guys know Jim Carrey has only done one sequel in his career? He said he doesn't essentially want to make the same movie over again. The only movie he does have a sequel to was Ace Ventura. Huh. Okay, so my last video I asked you guys, Justin Bieber or One Direction? And this is what you guys said. Today's question of the day is, what's behind you? Okay, so let's talk about 38-year-old Isabella de Nora. She becomes the first person ever to have a face transplant in France. Every country in the world out there doesn't allow face transplants because of the high risk. But French doctors, where she's from, was willing to take on the risk to give this woman a new face. So what happened was Isabella tried to commit suicide by taking sleeping pills. And while she passed out on the ground, her dog started to gnaw and chew away at her face. Oh my god, I just can't imagine that happening. And the pictures are just so graphic that I can't show you guys. But just know that the dog took her nose, her lips, and her chin is totally gone. And when she woke up from the ground, all she can feel and see is just blood everywhere. And she was quickly rushed to the hospital. When she got there, doctors said they couldn't believe it. She had no lower face. And they had to feed her through a tube in her stomach. With such severe injuries, she simply just wanted to hide away from the world. And this is when she decided to just wear this mask anywhere she goes, even inside of the hospital. Her own reflection startles her so much, she never never takes it off even when she's at home. A few months after the injury, she's been approached by so many surgeons. But they were all limited in what they can do to reconstruct the face. Until Professor Bonnard suggested that the only way to fix this was a face transplant. For the past 20 years, thousands of surgeons have come together to try to revolutionize the face transplant. And they've been fighting the medical establishment and trying to ensure the public that a face transplant is nothing to fear. So six months after Isabella's incident, she became a medical breakthrough. She got her new face from a female donor. It's so amazing how far we've come with technology, but let's move on. Another person who made it into the medical world was 31-year-old Ashley Caprell. She is one of 700 people worldwide to have an illness that turns muscle into bone. Which is essentially going to immobilize her. She's already lost an arm and movement in one of her legs due to this condition. At the age of three years old, doctors diagnosed her with cancer, but they were totally wrong. She's actually diagnosed with fibrodoplasia osfascans provasia. I so butchered that and I apologize. But you know what's so amazing? That she's making the most of her life right now. I mean, she's still going out trick-or-treating. She's going to the beach. And lucky enough, she actually met Dalai Lama back in 2007. This condition is so scary because there's no diagnosis and she's slowly dying. I really have to stop bitching about my life because look at her life and she's not even complaining at all. Anyways, viewers, that's all the news stories I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed that one and I'll see you guys in my next video.